There was more than just a place in the grand final on the line when Hawthorne met Geelong in their preliminary final. Uh, all the talk about this curse and everything else, it can get put to bed in the next two hours of footy. It was the Hawks that set the tempo early on. Kicks it from right on fit there. And Jack Gunston gets the first of the prelim final. But they failed to convert their dominance. He looked like he pulled it badly off the boot. While at the other end, Geelong's small forwards were able to finish, keeping the margin tight at the first chance. Puts the afterburners on, oh. outside of the boot! Steve Johnson created havoc for the Hawks during the second quarter. Stevie J's already got a couple in luck. Oh. And the Cats strung together four straight to take a 17-point lead. He works it back to the top of the square, picked up by Marty. Oh. Hawthorne turned the half around by finishing their opportunities up forward. Jack Gunston kicking two. At the back, Gunston walks in, kicks another one. And Sean Burgoyne was able to get loose. The margin cut to a point at half-time. Burgoyne will pick this up and kick a goal. Two in a row to the Hawks. The minor premiers then carried that momentum into the third turn, opening up a ten-point advantage. He's kicked that better, but that's a goal. Until Geelong pounced on some flashes of complacency, the momentum swinging back in the Cats' favour. Cameron Guthrie bombed one home. Runs to 50, has a ping at it. Harry Taylor kicked a freak goal. Another by Jordan Murdoch gave the Cats a 20-point lead at the final break. Right foot snap! Murdoch! Oh, yes. <laughs> but Geelong started to fatigue in the last. Some mistakes creeping in. An error by Jimmy Bartell led to a goal for Bradley Hill. Kicks it to the outside, Hill picks it up and kicks a goal. And the margin back to five points when Gunston booted another. Hawthorne hitting the front with Burgoyne second for the day. Runs in, he won't miss and he doesn't miss. But Geelong had one last chance to tie in the final minute. A loose ball falling to Travis Barco. Barco on his own, just needs to be clean. Swings around, kicks on goal and misses. His miss saw the Hawks advance to their second grand final in as many years.